The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And Hollywood cannot seem to grasp that concept. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm here with another video. And holy shit, when you're close to when your movie is supposed to be premiering, last thing you want to do is double down on a marketing strategy that's going to alienate half of the movie-going audience. But yet, they can't seem to figure that out. And here it is, basically, in Bounding Into Comics, I found this article where Ewan McGregor doubles down on misogynist marketing for Birds of Prey. Yes, less than a week away from when the movie is general, general release on Friday, they're doubling down. You ask yourself why, and I say the definition of insanity. I have no fucking clue at this point, and yet they wonder why the movie... Movies, I should say, I'm not sure if this movie in particular will, but movies, when this marketing strategy is employed, why they fail. But then again, they turn around and blame the men that they told were misogynist for not for being men, and then call them sexist when they don't see the movie. But anyway, let's get into this article. And I started reading it, I should point out, and um, I stopped when I got to one part, and you'll see why in just a second. But here you go. Let's get into this article. Ewan, and Ewan, you were the last person who should be lecturing on misogyny. All right? Just FYI, last person. Ewan McGregor continues to double down on the misogynist marketing for the upcoming Birds of Prey film. McGregor's latest instance came during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. All right? And here's where I got to. When asked about Birds of Prey, McGregor went directly to talking about misogyny without any prompting from Fallon. So kind of credit to Fallon, I guess, but for whatever reason. He told The Tonight Show host... Brilliant. It's about time that we've got this female-made, female-driven superhero movie. I got to that part. What the fuck? It's a really powerful film. It was just exciting to be part of. A film that covers some of the misogynist nonsense that you ladies have to deal with on a daily basis. We don't need you fucking white knighting for us, Ewan. Okay? You're a good actor. Leave it at that. Stop being a white knight. Not every woman wants you to come to her rescue. Okay? McGregor continued saying he was proud and honored to be part of the film. I was honored to be the chief misogyner... Misogyner? It's misogynist. If you're going to even remotely sound like you know what you're talking about, at least get the word right. I'm not a very nice character in it. No shit, you play Black Mask, or at least a... sort of a weird, warped version of Black Mask, because God knows none of these characters at all represent what they are in the comic books. I was proud to be part of it and start to get the message out there. Yeah, as if, like, we haven't heard it before. I hate that poster, by the way. These comments from McGregor appear to actually be talking points as he repeats the same lines in just a different manner depending on who he's talking to. Okay? So basically, in late January, McGregor, alongside his co-star Chris Messina, who plays Victor Zaz, told the AP, Yeah, it's about time. We were both really proud. We talked about it. We were both really proud to be involved in a film that was a feminist film that tackled misogyny. Self-hate much. He continued, not only in the sort of extreme ends of misogyny, but also the everyday mild misogyny women have to put up with. Please, someone explain to me what the fuck everyday misogyny is. How is there an everyday misogyny and extreme ends of misogyny? I, I, I'm just beyond, like, words right now. I can't even understand what he's trying to say there. McGregor added, and this film peppered with references to that. We were just proud to be part of that and to be the misogynists in the film to help flag that up to guys who need to know that time's done. Again, last person who should be lecturing anyone. Previously in October, McGregor told French site Premiere, what interested me with Birds of Prey is that it's a feminist film. It is a very finely written, there is in the script a real look on misogyny. He added, and I think we need that. We need to be more aware of how we behave with the opposite sex. We need to be taught to change. No, you don't need to be taught to change. That's more of an indoctrination than anything at this point. Most men 
do not act the way you are portraying them as. So, no, you don't need to teach them anything. McGregor continued, Misogynists in movies are often extreme. They rape, they beat women, and it is legitimate to represent people like that because they exist and they are obviously the worst. They're criminals. Okay, those are the true misogynists. Those who do those acts that you listed right there. Except, now, in this marketing strategy, you are basically clumping all men together. As if to say, you are innately bad, and you need to change. Because, you, simply because of the fact, you are male. And I'm sick and tired of that bullshit. He then stated, but in the Birds of Prey dialogues, there is always a hint of everyday misogyny of those things you say as a man you do not even realize. Mansplaining. Fuck you, Ewan. All it's in the script in a very subtle way. I found that brilliant. Right. I repeat, you're a good actor, but shut the fuck up when it comes to this. Given the repetitive nature of McGregor's comments, it's almost as if they're, these are talking points coming from either Warner Brothers or at least the Birds of Prey producers. Unfortunately, it bodes ill for Birds of Prey box office. I personally, if I were either Gal Gadot or Patty Jenkins, I would bitch slap the marketing team. Doesn't matter which side it's from, whether it's Warner Brothers or the Birds of Prey production staff. Just tag team it. One goes in, bitch slaps the hell out of the team, and then tag teams the other one in and just bitch slaps the hell out of them again. Because... Again, are you conveniently forgetting, DC? This came out first. Other films who have used this type of marketing tactic failed abysmally at the box office. Again, definition of insanity. Why they are thinking it'll succeed this time is beyond me. Most recently, Charlie's Angels. Only earned a reported $70.3 million at the global box office and only $17.8 million at the domestic box office. Holy fucking ouch. The film reportedly had a $48 million production budget. The marketing of the film saw star Kirsten Stewart is, describe the movie as woke. Came out and said it's woke. Elizabeth Banks would also blame men for the film's box office failure a week before it was even released in theaters. Again, right before the movie's supposed to come out, you're basically attacking half the demographic who might have bothered to see it. She stated, if this movie doesn't make, any, make money, it reinforces a stereotype in Hollywood that men don't go see women in action movies, which is fucking bullshit. Otherwise, the Alien franchise wouldn't be loved today. The Terminator franchise wouldn't be loved today. Hell, Kill Bill wouldn't be loved today. Underworld. Resident Evil. Going back to the 70s with Pam Greer and Foxy Brown. I mean, seriously. It's not the fact that it's women in action films. It's the fact that you're telling these men they are sexist if they don't see the film, when in reality, maybe the film looks like shit. Because I didn't even see this movie either. I had no desire to be bashed over the head with identity politics and sociopolitical agendas. And I'm a woman. Hello! Terminator Dark Fate also went woke and subsequently bombed at the box office. The film earned only $250 million globally and only $60.2 million at the domestic box office, which is, again, ouch. It reportedly had a $185 million production budget. That's uber ouch right there. <sighs> Dark Fate director Tim Miller decided to crap on fans while answering a question about fan reaction to the film's trailer at San Diego Comic-Con. Again, definition of insanity, if you're at all enlightened, she'll play like gangbusters. So if you are the unwashed masses, if you're a closet misogynist, she'll scare the fuck out of you because she's tough and strong but very feminine. Are you fucking forgetting Linda Hamilton? Wondering why the movie bombed? Tim Miller, shut your fucking mouth for once. What do you make of McGregor's comments? Do you think Birds of Prey will join the growing list of woke films bombing at the box office? Yes, I think it will join, possibly. I'm not saying definitely it will, but at the rate it's going, it's going to crash and burn. It's going to... You double down on shit like this, it's going to crash and burn, and that's what these people can't seem to understand. They, and they also conveniently forget, and I'll do this for a third time, this film that came out. I would even hazard to say... That we would not even had Captain Marvel had Wonder Woman not succeeded. 
We would not have this film if Wonder Woman had not succeeded. But no, you can really forget that film even came out, and you're saying it's finally time for a female-directed, female-made, female-centric film. So again, fuck you. This is Mara Jade. I'm ranting before class, so I gotta calm down because I need to focus on whatever we're learning today in my uh, master's uh, class on in education. But until then, I will try to come out with another video before the weekend. Uh, check also, uh, uh, I'll be streaming with Lethal Lightning uh, as of now, this Saturday. We will tweet out a time, or he will tweet out a time, of when we have that uh definitely nailed down because I'm still in Twitter jail. I will not be out of Twitter jail until Sunday, which is basically means I can't promote anything. So if you like this video, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, share it on social media, please, because I cannot promote this myself and I will catch you on the dark side. Take care.